Welcome back to another video. This video is probably going to come at as a big surprise for a lot of you and some of you guys might just say I knew it, I knew this was coming. But I, as you can tell from the title, have a big, huge announcement <laughs> to share with you guys and we are moving to Spain. We have decided to move to Spain and this is something that we are so excited about. The first time George and I went to Spain was in 2016. We went to Madrid and we completely fell in love with Spain. We thought that it was somewhere that we would eventually like to end up. Uh, we didn't have a time frame of this of when this would happen, but we we just fell in love with with Spain. And we always joked around like, oh, one day we'll end up in Spain. Oh, this is where we belong. So we've gone back and forth. My in-laws ended up moving to Spain. So now they live in Spain. So it's given us more of a reason and an excuse to go to Spain. So it, I'm sure you guys have noticed that I have been going to Spain a little bit more often than, than normal. Um, but yeah, this is why. <laughs> uh, we are currently in the process of applying for a visa. And the visa is so that we can stay there longer than the 90 days that the Spanish government allows anyone to stay. So, well, I don't know about anyone, but most people can stay there for 90 days and then you have to leave the country. But if you want to stay longer than the 90 days, you have to apply for a visa, which is what we are doing. So I wanted to announce this now because I thought it would be cool and fun and a good idea <laughs> to talk about the process of, or, or showing you guys the process of moving there. Uh, I wasn't going to announce this until we had the visa approved, but uh, I just, I feel like, whether it gets approved or denied, you guys can be a part of this journey with me. A lot of you guys have been with me for so long and you have been with me through so many different changes from going to one child to two to then three, uh, to moving from Texas to moving to Florida. And now I wanna bring you guys along this journey of not only moving, but we're moving to a whole different country. And I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions uh, there are some things that I'm obviously going to keep to ourselves because it is personal, you know, and it's, you know, just personal information. So there are some things that you might see me sharing and some things that you might see me not sharing. Um, so that's just why. But I am so excited for this. I already know. You guys are going to ask me, are you going to be a flight attendant? Are you quitting your flight attendant job? The answer is uh, no, I'm not. I am going to commute from Spain. So thankfully, I'm able to commute with my airline and I'm going to fly a few months out of the year and fly a few trips and then go back. I still haven't decided how often I'm going to fly, how often I'm going to um, come back to the US. I just haven't decided that yet. We're st I'm telling you, we're still going through the process of it. Uh, so... I will share that with you guys as we go. I want to take you guys along tomorrow because tomorrow we are going to, well, not we, I am going to Austin, to Texas, because I have to get my sons, both Luca and Leo were born in Texas, I have to get their birth certificates apostled or um, authentic, authenticized, authenticized, I can't say that, authenticized, um, for the visa because it's part of the process. So I have to go get that done. I could easily mail that, but it takes longer. It takes about 25 days for this whole process. So it's easier just to go and walk in. And since I have flight benefits, I can just go in and get it done same day. So it's going to be a day trip of me going to Austin. And besides just this, there are so many different steps. There's like 11 steps of things that we have to do. We had to renew passports. We had to uh, order new birth certificates, order our marriage license from California, or not license, certificate from California, Alex's birth certificate from California, because he was born in California, which mind you, I also have to go to California this week for the day to get those apostle as well. So it is so much, but I know it's going to be worth it. We also uh, have to get rid of everything. 
everything. <laughs> we have to get rid of our couches. We have to get rid of our beds. We have to get rid of babies, everything. We are having to get rid of everything. So I'm selling things, I'm giving away things, I'm donating things. And George and I have been together for almost 15 years. We're going on 15 years of marriage. So we have about 15 years worth of things that we need to sort through and decide what we're gonna do with them. So um, I will also be showing you guys all of that. And uh, the main thing that we're actually waiting for right now before we put in the application for the visa is our background check. So we have to do a background check and that has to also be apostled so that gets sent to the government and they take about 11 weeks to get that done so we had to do that first we're still waiting on that to come back um but once that comes we should have everything else put together like because we have to get documents translated we have to get things notarized and we have to get everything together and then we have to go to the consulate in miami to with an appointment and apply for the uh, visa. So the visa can take up to three months to get approved or denied. Uh, I've heard it takes 10 days, two weeks, three weeks for certain for some people. So it just depends. It's a case by case situation. So we'll see. We are looking at places. My in-laws are helping us with that. So they are looking at places. And we think we found one. I'm actually gonna go back to Spain in a couple weeks here. And I'm actually gonna go look at the place. And if, if we like it, then we'll sign. And if not, then we'll keep looking. And I'm hoping that, you know, the visa process goes well, which I don't see us getting denied at all, but you, you just never know. So we're just taking a leap of faith. And, you know, this place that we found is in an area that we would really like to live in. And it's, you know, it's just, it seems like a good choice for us. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to bring you guys along, you know, just us going to Spain, because I do have to go to Spain before we apply for the visa uh, so that I'm able to get some stuff done over there like look for places and stuff like that but um i was it might seem a little silly to share this before we've even applied for the visa but like i said the process is so tedious and there's so many different things that you have to do to prepare to even just apply for the visa so i wanted to share that with you guys and bring you guys along like i said i'm going to austin tomorrow i want to bring you guys with me i want to bring you guys to california when i have to go do that um the whole moving process of getting rid of things driving to miami and going to spain again uh, once I apply for the visa though, I cannot uh, fly out of the country. So they actually take your passport, which I have to see how to go about that because it is a required item at my job to have. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with work, like if I'm gonna drop my trips during that time or what. So we're gonna figure that out. I'm also going to be flying a lot as much as I can uh, because we're trying to save money and we're trying to get as much you know every penny counts these days for the visa you do have to provide a lot of things um you have to provide a lot of information about yourself your accounts like your bank accounts and stuff like that so they want to see that you're able to sustain yourself while you are in um in spain so why are we leaving the us i'm sure a lot of you guys are probably wondering that and for a while we just have known like i said back in 2016 we went to spain and we have always just known that We've always that we at some point wanted to end up in 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 Europe, and Spain. You know, us being Spanish speaking uh, individuals, like I just feel like it's just easier. Um, we have family there. I have family there from my side of the family, and my husband has family there, so we wouldn't be alone. And I feel like here in Orlando, we're just alone. Like, yeah, we've made friends, but we have no one. We have no village. Like we people always talk about having a village. We have we don't have anyone. Like no one. So there we would have my in-laws, my, my side of the family, and it's just, um, I feel very at peace with this um, decision that we made together with my husband, and he is so excited. He is probably the most excited out of all of us. He um, is really, really, really happy to go and just, you know, have a, a fresh start we want to simplify our lives I, I don't feel anxious i'm a little 
nervous, but not anxious, you know? And I'm a very anxious person. <laughs> and I'm not anxious. Neither is my husband. And I'm sure you guys are going to ask how the kids have reacted or what they think of this. So Luca and Leo are both too little to really understand. Uh, Luca's five, Leo's four. So he doesn't really, they don't really understand what's happening. They're just going to, you know, go to a different house and they'll adapt easier. But the one I'm a little worried about is Alex. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little worried about him uh, just because he's a little bit older and he's going to miss his friends. Uh, he's going to miss, he's going to really feel the culture shock, you know, but I still think he's young enough to be able to adapt. I feel like if we wait until he's a little bit older, like an actual teenager, it wouldn't be as easy. Uh, so he was a little sad and now he's happy because he's going to have his grandparents around. He's excited for a new journey. He's excited for you know, a new country. He did spend last summer there as well with my in-laws. So he, he knows what to expect. He knows everything. The one thing he's not looking forward to I'm, uh, is the, the walking. They have to walk everywhere. He doesn't like to walk. That's the one thing he complains about. And the cigarettes. He, he does say like, what about, you know, people smoking? What about people having to walk everywhere? He's excited, he's excited. And we did decide to homeschool him to kind of help with the transition. That's one of the reasons why we decided to homeschool him. My family, my parents are excited for me. My dad retired and moved out of the country anyway. And my mom's excited for me too. And she lives in California, so it's not, I haven't lived in the same state as my mom for almost 10 years. So it's not like a big shock and you know, we have flight benefits so they can always visit us and they have flight benefits through me too so that that shouldn't be a problem um but yeah i am so excited to finally share this with you guys and really live this journey with you guys thank you guys so much for listening to me and <sighs> clicking on this video to hear the news i'm excited i know i'm sure people are going to have opinions and um they're going to be unsure about a lot of things but at the end of the day we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for the good of our family if we didn't see the benefit how it would benefit our boys ourselves and you know there's so many different reasons why we want to move to spain and there are a lot of things that we like about spain and like every place there's pros and there's cons just like how there's pros and cons in the u.s there's pros and cons in in spain and we're very aware of that these are pros and cons that we have both weighed out like this wasn't a a okay let's do this overnight type of thing you know this is something that we've always wanted to do and we're doing it we're doing it so the content obviously is going to change a little bit on my channel i'm excited to vlog and show you guys our new life over there as as expats and how we are uh adjusting to a new culture and to a new life uh i'm sure some of you guys are going to ask me if this is a permanent move as of right now we haven't decided whether it's a permanent move or not because we are going to spain for sure and our starting point is where we're going but sorry, the boys are playing. Um, but we are open to taking it day by day to see what happens. And if we like it, then we stay. If not, then we can always come back to the US, thankfully. Um, that That's also an option too. So yeah, I, I'm excited. I'm really excited. And, and I, keep, I feel like I keep saying that, but that's really truly how I feel. I'm excited, I'm happy. And right now, after I finish filming this, I'm actually going to start sorting to, through certain things and seeing what I'm going to donate and what I'm going to take with me this time that I go to Spain. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support, for being here and for watching and continue to go through life with me since 2017. I really, really, truly am thankful for each and every one of you. So. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.